Hi, my name is Goshka. I'm Zivia Sensiemek's mom. And Zivia is filming me now. Hello, Zivia. <laughs> now, I am an ecologist, that's why I know a little bit about plants and animals. But we got a tree for school. It came by post in this beautiful envelope. And it's one of the native trees for Ireland, Scots pine. Um, okay. Now, what does it mean that it's native? It means that the Scots pines, Scots pine, tre Scots pine trees didn't show up in Ireland thanks to people, but they did it by other natural ways. For example, they could have been brought by sea current or wind or animals. Anyway, this little tree is still tiny and it's so-called bare root. It means that its roots are nearly bare. There's only a little bit of soil here and that's why it's easy to plant it now and will grow very quickly if it's planted properly. Now I will just tell you a little bit about Scots pine, what it is, when it grows finally. Now, the first first time when they appeared in Ireland was after the last ice age, so around 12,000 years ago. They have very light seed, tiny seed, which would be inside the pine cone. When the pine cone is closed, the seed is there, and when pine cone is ripe and dry enough, it opens and the tiny seed fall out. The seed have small wings, which allows them to travel on the wind for a large distance. They can also float on water and similar. Uh, 12,000 years ago they appeared in Ireland and they were very common here. We know that they were very common because we can find stumps of Scots pine in the bogs, which would be like five, six or seven thousand years old. Although many Scots pines which were planted in Ireland did come from Scotland, uh, many of them, especially in County Clare, uh, survived and they're truly native. Now the Scots pines is widely planted because it has many uses for us people. Timber is one of them. So lo most of the IKEA uh, furniture which we can get are made of from Scots pine. Uh, also it's good firewood. Uh, Scots pine have loads of resin. So resin is a uh, sap, but it's very sticky sap of a coniferous um, tree and you can make glue out of that but also it was used in production of explosives and now the other uses is that they have beautiful cones which we can use as decoration especially around christmas okay. the other marvelous thing about scots pine uh, is the substance it produces to the air essential oils which are antibacterial so they actually kill bacteria so if you walk in a Scots pine forest, it's very healthy for you, especially if you have problems like asthma or other respiratory diseases. But even if you have just one Scots pine near, near your place where you spend a lot of time, for example, in Scots school, it purifies the air there. Now, the other thing which you can notice about this tree is that it's coniferous, which means carrying pine cones, right? It's also evergreen, which means that it keeps its leaves all year round, although it doesn't mean that they live forever. It, every leaf falls down every three or five years, but, and the new one grows. Now, this tree is very small. You will see a short video uh, by Paddy showing how to plant uh, this tree, you have to remember that you cannot plant it too deep. So this point here shows where the level of the soil should be. It shouldn't be deeper because then it will suffocate the tree and the tree will die slowly. It cannot be too shallow because then it will lose its, its uh, lovely roots here. It's actually better to, to plant it too shallow than too deep. Now, Scots pine is, it was so popular after the Ice Age when the, when the conditions were so hard for plants because it's a, it's a very tough tree, but it thrives if it's just right.
So when you plant it in your, uh, at your school, try not to plant it in a true, too wet condition because again, it can just grow too slowly. Now the other thing is that these lovely needles, which are just leaves of this tree, can be very tasty for some creatures. So when you plant it today, it can happen that tonight someone will come and eat it. And this could be the dreaded rabbit. You can just nibble it and once they, they um, destroy the top of the, of the little tree or they strip the bark from here, the tree will die. So that's why you need to protect it. So to stop the bloodthirsty, or in this case, subthirsty rabbits, we build this cage. So when you plant your tree, you just basically put it over that and press it firmly into the ground. So the bottom of the mesh touches the ground. And this will hopefully hold all the herbivores away. Now you have to remember that as this is the case with any living organism, your tree can die. Things happen, something can eat it, there could be a terrible winter or somebody can just dig it out and this happens. But remember that if it happens, replace your tree with another Scots pine or other tree if you don't want this one. Uh, trees this size, which I showed you, are very, very cheap. They cost less than your average lunch today. So take care of your tree and hopefully it will grow very big and maybe your children or grandchildren will collect pine cones from this tree and do some art and craft at school in the future. Thanks, bye.